from Astrolab Diagnostics. We have recently launched a redesign of the Cell Subset Navigator, which promises to make your life easier and allow you to get much more from the platform and from your data. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the major changes in the redesign. The first addition um, is this drop-down with all the different cell subsets. And you'll notice that as you scroll down the page, uh, this is going to stay at the top. So if I choose a few different cell subsets, you will see that they're selected here as well. And if I scroll down, this is always available. If it's too big, click on this minus sign to minimize it. You will still see which cell subsets you have selected, uh, and um, you can reopen it as necessary. Um, in addition to picking subsets in the cells in the MDS map or in the frequency heat map, you can pick them here. So for example, if I want all of the CDAT cells, I can just click on them here, and here they are, selected. Um, looking uh, at before, we had two tabs, one for the MDS map and one for the frequency heat map. Now these have been added to these tags. Uh, the default one is the MDS map, and I can click on the frequency heat map one uh, to switch. As before, you can click on these to select and deselect subsets, and now each visualization has its own parameters. So for example, you can sort samples by uh, patient, and um, we will see it happen just in the frequency heat map. You won't see this drop down in the MDS map, just because it doesn't affect it. Likewise, you won't see the color subsets by drop down in the frequency heat map, because it doesn't affect the frequency heat map. So um, the next thing I want to discuss is the sections for each one of the cell subsets. Uh, first of all, we extended the bar chart. So now you can clearly see all the different samples, all the tables, and we added this scroll bar to allow you to move between them. The scroll bar is synchronized, so all of the cell subset sections will always show the, um, will always show the same uh, samples, one above the other. If you want to access the immune phenotyping heat map, it's still here, it's just on a separate tag. So you can click on it, and um, it's going to flip all of the different um, cell subset sections into the uh, immune phenotyping heat map. So much easier to focus either on immune phenotyping or the uh, cell subset frequencies. And finally, uh, switching between um, different features for differential abundance analysis is going to be much easier. You can just click here and then click on what you want to compare. If I click on time point, then first of all, I will see the box plot, then I will see the uh, bar chart. Um, same statistics as before, here is the negative log 10 of the FDR, um, and if I want to compare anything else, I can just click here and change. And if I want to sort samples differently, I can click here. So now it's sorted by sam, by patient, and now it's sorted by time point. As before, these are synchronized between all the cell subset sections. A few less, uh, a few, a few uh, final quality of life improvements. Uh, the colors are now much clearer. So before the colors were a bit too pastel. Some people had trouble reading them. Now they are much darker. Um, you can close the different cell subsets in different ways. You can just minimize them if you so choose, and you can completely close them by clicking the X or by clicking on them up here. Um, you will notice that the volcano plot is now next to the MDS map, so you no longer need to uh, scroll back and forth to uh, see what's going on. You can just click on it and scroll down and see the new cell subset section. And, um, and uh, yeah, I think that is about it. Uh, I hope you enjoy using the new, um, the new navigator. Uh, you might also notice that it is much faster than it was before, so easier to get your data. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback on this exciting new addition to Astrolabe.